It is 6 a.m. and we have a weather action day in effect on Denver 7 News. It's a cold morning. That's going to be the next story because we're under freeze warnings through the morning. The snow is tapering off and the temperatures have dropped. Bridges, ramps and overpasses are super slick right now. We're in Boulder where some wet, dense snow is making for pretty good snowballs this morning. We'll look at the totals coming up. The big concern as you wake up, snow weighing down tree limbs and knocking out power lines. I'm Denver 7's Eric Lufer live in Lakewood where hundreds of people are without power this morning. But the snow provides welcome help for firefighters in our state. No one can quite uh, grasp uh, fighting a forest fire in a snowstorm. And this is a live look as you wake up from our mile high camera over downtown Denver. The snow has ended this morning, but the cold temperatures are sticking around. Mm -hmm. It just looks cold out there. Good Wednesday morning. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Molly Hendrickson and I'm Brian Sanders. Snow totals across Colorado ranging anywhere from just a trace to about five inches along the front range. Reports of up to eight inches in the higher elevations and we have our team of reporters scattered across the front range with the impacts we're seeing this morning, including down tree limbs and power outages. Want to start though with meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo in her home weather center. Snow is starting to move out, but it is still very cold out there. It is. That's the next big story. You're right. You can see some of the snow that's still lingering, though, in areas mainly south and east of Denver, where we're going to continue to see that through early morning. They're along I-70 getting toward Lyman. You're going to find more snow coming down at this point. And even here across the metro area, very light, but any additional accumulation is going to be extremely light. As far as our temperatures go, it is cold out there. This is a look at the wind chills. Now we're at this point right around freezing, but it feels more like low to mid 20s. Denver 24, 19 in Leadville and 25 in Fort Collins. Obviously a cold morning. We're coming off of a record breaking weekend to a record breaking morning with our temperatures dropping down below freezing. Freeze warnings remain in effect covering the entire metro area until noon today. We're still under a winter weather advisory as well over the northeastern plains through early morning in pink more winter storm warning. So still a Denver 7 weather action day due to this and to the cold. It's going to get a little warmer this afternoon. We'll be in the low 40s. Skies will continue to clear out and we'll see some gradual clearing and some drying this afternoon. It's going to be a good 40 degrees warmer by Sunday. We'll take a closer look at the warm up that's to come. Jason coming up here in just a few minutes. And I am still seeing that snow that's falling around town and it is still very wet for us. Very slick on the bridges, ramps and overpasses. I've been saying that all morning long. It is really cold out there and you can see this is drive on. This is the drive on C470 right by Kipling. Look how much uh, snow is in the grass, but the main lanes of C470 look just basically wet at this point. Let me take you to where it is snowing or at least you can see it on the camera there at 6th Avenue and Wadsworth. It is snowing pretty heavy right there, uh, but again, it's just wet, but the bridges are a little bit more slick so just be careful of that take a look at highway 93 in el dorado springs where you see how much snow is just south of boulder between there and golden again very slick conditions for us out there to that uh, west side of town as for the drive times they're pretty standard actually traffic isn't too heavy at this point but speeds are still in the 60s on c470 60s in the denver tech center and on 225 and up to the north side of town including 270 speeds in the 50s and 60s so i'm not seeing any big huge big problems yet in the ring of metro Denver. We'll keep an eye on that situation for you here this morning. Thanks, Jason. North of the metro and higher elevations saw the most accumulation from this storm. This is a live look right now from our CDOT camera near Boulder. You can see wet roads right now. The snow is falling and that is also weighing down trees along the highway. Number seven's Nicole Brady is live in Boulder this morning and Nicole about half a foot of snow fell there. Some of the higher snow totals that we saw from this storm were definitely right here in Boulder, Molly, and you can see right now it is snowing again. It's been on and off throughout the morning, but it is still a very wet snow, almost a rain snow mix at times here, making for some pretty wet roads out there too. But I want to show you the National Weather Service did measure the snowfall here in Boulder, and they got a pretty good amount, as you said, four and a half inches to five inches in some parts of the city here. So uh, pretty good snowfall on the sides, uh, grass and trees, patios, even cars accumulated some snow. But when you come back out here live and you see sort of the Boulder Creek path where we are this morning, not much is sticking to the pavement. And, and what we are seeing also is just this uh, a lot of melting and puddles on the side. So you're probably going to really want rain boots or something a good and, and water protective footwear today. I have not seen anyone come out running 
or walking on the Boulder Creek Trail yet this morning. I thought maybe there would be some diehards out here, even though the temperature is dropping. It's 30 degrees and it is it is yucky and wet, so maybe we won't see uh, those those dedicated Colorado runners that I thought we might see this morning. But hey, we still have have more time later on. And, Snow still falling. Uh, we'll keep you updated. Uh, we're live in Boulder. Nicole Brady, Denver 7. All right, thank you, Nicole. The snow has certainly helped firefighters in their battle against the Cameron Peak Fire in Larimer County. Some evacuees were able to return to their homes yesterday because of favorable weather conditions. Firefighters report snow is accumulating around the fire, but it still isn't enough to put out this massive fire completely. Well, think of a campfire. When you have a campfire, try to put it out pour a bunch of water on it. You stir it up, pour a bunch more water on it. Now think of this as a big campfire and it's going to take a lot of water, a lot of moisture um, in the right conditions. Fire officials say underneath all that snow, the ground still remains very hot and they worry our warm up later this week will only fuel the fire once again. Cameron Peak Fire has grown to more than 100,000 acres. It is still just 4% contained. Firefighters also reported snow for the Williams Fork fire near Frazier. That's still just 10% contained. However, you can see the Pine Gulch and Grizzly Creek fires are now more than 90% contained. Most traction laws on highways around the state have been lifted this morning, but we know more will go into effect throughout the winter. It is illegal to drive in the high country without chains, four wheel drive or snow tires. And yes, CDOT is enforcing it and shared this photo yesterday of drivers getting pulled over. The fine, by the way, is $650. Well, besides the slick roads, one of the main concerns from the storm is the chance for tree branches to break just from the weight of the snow. If you haven't looked outside yet, there's a chance that your trees look a little like this, hanging over and leaning more than usual. Denver 7's Micah Smith joins us live from Colorado State University in Fort Collins because part of CSU's campus is actually closed because of this concern for trees falling. Brian, when I checked in, in with you at 5 a.m., I showed you a younger tree, a smaller branch that had fallen due to the weight of the snow. Now I have a bigger tree to show you. This is a 10-year-old American elm tree. Check this out, split in half under the weight of the snow that collected on the leaves. I talked to CSU's arborist early this morning. I want to show you some video of him hard at work, and he told me we actually got lucky this time around. The snow really only affected the younger trees, 10 years old or younger, but all we needed was a few more inches of snow to collect on those leaves for these 100-year-old trees, the ones that are the most picturesque part of campus for those big, huge trees to fall down. So he says we're lucky. He says he's been driving around all morning, moving moving limbs out of the way, and it just shows the seriousness of these leaves still being on the trees and having that impact of pulling those branches down. Now, I did ask him if he has any advice for those of us who have trees in our yards or those of us who may be out and about this morning. He said, number one, if you can, clear off those branches. Number two, if you hear a crack, get out of the way, and that's some advice I will be paying attention to, to the T. Reporting live, Micah Smith, Denver 7. Not to mention the melting snow off the roofs as well, so... Just watch your head. Yeah. Remember, if you're not ready to leave the house yet, we will have extended live coverage at 7 o'clock on your streaming device. So just search for Denver 7 on your Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, or Android device, and we'll have team weather coverage there until 9 o'clock this morning.